good morning students how are you all hope you all are safe at home and doing your work regularly so students today we are going to learn one more interesting topic which is homophones so before the explanation of the topic you just want to learn what is homophone so students homophones is divided is made up of two words homo and the second is phone so firstly the definition of homophone is homophone is made up of two words ye do shabdon se bana hai kaun kaun se homo plus phone homo means same and phone means sound it means if we are adding these two words then it will become same sound so homophones the meaning of homophone is same sound is that clear homophones the definition of homophone is divided into two parts same sound but different spelling and meaning means the definition of homophone is homophone has the same sound but different spellings and meaning clear so if we uh, i'm once again i repeat homophones are words having exactly same sound but different spelling and meaning to understand this topic more let's look into some examples so students the first example is s o n sun s u n sun can you see the difference in spellings of both the words both of them have completely different meaning the sound is same sun sun but the spellings are different and the meaning is also different let's discuss about the meaning sun sun means a boy to his parents सन का मतलब है माता पिता का बेटा क्लियर एंड दिस सन रेफर्स टू स्टार अराउंड विच आर थ्री वॉल्स इस सन का मतलब है एक तारा जो कि धरती के इर्द गिर्द घूमता है सॉरी धरती जिसके इर्द गिर्द घूमती है इज दैट क्लियर इट रेफर्स टू द स्टार अराउंड विच आर थ्री वॉल्स जिसके इर्द गिर्द धरती चक्कर लगाती है इज दैट क्लियर सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल अरुण हैज अ सन अरुण का एक बेटा है क्लियर एंड सन राइजेस इन द ईस्ट सूर्य पूरब से उगता है इज दैट क्लियर नाउ लेट्स टेक वन मोर एग्जाम्पल सी सी students you can see i pronounced both words in a same manner meaning c c it means again and again i am telling you the homophones means the same sound but the uh, spellings and the meanings are different clear so here c means to watch with eyes means whenever you are seeing anything whenever you are using your eyes to see anything in that situation this c will be used and this c means it refers to a large lake ek bahut bada samandar is that clear so this c and c is different from each other their meanings are completely different eyes here c means the use of eyes and this c means a large lake is that clear let's talk about the example i can see that cow yahan pe you are talking about a cow and you can see that cow with your eyes is that clear and this see means he lives near the sea wo samandar ke nazdeek rehta hai it means his house is near the नियर अ लार्ज लेक मीन्स नियर द सी सो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू हैव क्लियर दीज टू एग्जाम्पल्स एंड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ होमोफोन नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन 
example 3 one more uh, example is here plane plane again i pronounced these words in a same way plane plane this plane means simple in structure means whenever you are making anything in a plain manner in a simple manner in that situation this plane will be used and this plane means a means of transport means whenever you are going uh, out of country whenever you are going to another country through air clear in that situation this plane will be used because uh, the aeroplane can fly in the air only in the sky only clear so this plane uh, is the uh, i have taken an example of this plane is it was a plain room ye bilkul simple kamra hai kamra tha and he went to kashmir by a plane wo kashmir kaise gaya plane mein udke gaya is that clear so now let's take one more example peace peace the same sound of these two words peace peace but the spellings are different here peace p i e c e and this p e a c e the spellings are different and the meaning is also different because we already have discussed homophones is uh, is the uh, are those words which have the same sound but different difference in spellings and meanings is that clear so you can see the uh, difference in spellings but now you can see the uh, meanings of these words it is a portion of an object iska matlab ye hai ki yahan pe diye gaye object ke portion ke bare mein baat ki ja rahi hai it means suppose your mother has brought a cake at home and you want and uh, she is saying you can't uh, eat that cake just now then what will you say mother please give me a piece of cake clear in that situation you want a piece aapko us cake ka ek chhota sa piece chahiye is that clear so that will be the object that will be a portion of the cake so i need a piece of paper mujhe paper ka ek chhota sa tukda chahiye and this piece means we have freedom from disturbance means whenever you want you don't want any type of disturbance near you in that situation we will use peace example everyone wants peace har kisi ko shanti chahiye no one wants a disturbance around him is that clear now let's take more examples number 5 8 8 here again i have used the same sound 8 eight but the meanings and the spellings are different this eight means it refers to a number this eight means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight it means it is describing a number clear and this eight means past form of verb eat this eight is the past form of eat clear example he got 8 marks out of 10 uske 10 mein se 8 number aaye and this eight means i ate delicious cake maine bahut hi swadishth cake khaya clear one more example principal principal students almost uh, every time students get confused the spellings of principal and principal means whenever you are writing a formal letter to your school principal sometimes students uh, what students do they write matlab wo kya karte hain wo principal p a l ki jagah p l e likh dete hain so the, uh, again and again i am telling you the sound will be same but the meaning will be different तो so, अगर आप प्रिंसिपल की जगह प्रिंसिपियल लिख दोगे तो उसका पूरा मीनिंग गलत हो गया बिकॉज दिस प्रिंसिपल मीनिंग अ फंडामेंटल ट्रुथ पी एल का मतलब होता है अ फंडामेंटल ट्रुथ कोई सच्चाई कोई सिद्धांत कोई आदर्श क्लियर एंड दिस प्रिंसिपल मीन्स 
द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट और सीनियर पर्सन इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन किसी भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट या सीनियर पर्सन क्लियर लाइक इन आर स्कूल मिसिज योगिता भाटिया इज आर स्कूल प्रिंसिपल एंड शी हैज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्लेस इन आर स्कूल क्लियर सो दिस प्रिंसिपल एंड प्रिंसिपल इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर लाइक ही इज अ मैन ऑफ प्रिंसिपल्स वो आदर्शों का मतलब ही इज़ अ मैन ऑफ प्रिंसिपल मीन्स कि वो एक ऐसा आदमी है जिसके कुछ सिद्धांत हैं जिसके कुछ आदर्श हैं बट दिस प्रिंसिपल मीन्स शी इज माई स्कूल प्रिंसिपल हेयर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ पर्सन हु हैज द डेजिग्नेशन ऑफ प्रिंसिपल इन योर स्कूल क्लियर सो आई होप यू ऑल हैव क्लियर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ होमोफोन्स एंड यू ऑल हैव क्लियर द एग्जाम्पल्स विच आई हैव डिस्कस्ड इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट स्टूडेंट्स देन यू कैन कंसल्ट विद मी एनी टाइम ऑन माई पर्सनल नंबर इज दैट क्लियर होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एट होम सो स्टूडेंट्स स्टे होम स्टे सेफ थैंक यू गॉड ब्लेस यू ऑल